We are the UTPA volleyball team, and, and you're, you're watching Bronx TV News. Welcome to our third edition of Bronx TV News, where we tell you what you want to know and what you need to know. I'm Jennifer Villarreal, and I'm Carlos Mireles. Well, Jen, I'm pretty sure you've been frustrated about the parking situation. Yes, I have been, and it's getting more and more difficult every year. Well, changes are being made. With more on the story, we have Maritza Peña. We are standing at what used to be a 380 parking space lot here at the university. Two years ago, it was turned into the new wellness center. We're looking at hopefully opening up close to 550 spaces starting fall of 2009. Blue, red, yellow, green, and orange are the five different parking permits you will see this year. Blue is for residents living on campus. They are only allowed to park in the tenant parking spaces on campus housing grounds. Red is another alternative parking permit residents can obtain, and that simply means they are allowed to park on campus parking lots as well as tenant parking. Yellow is for incoming freshmen or anyone with less than 30 hours, and these students will park in one of the overflow parking lots and take the shuttle to campus. Green is for all students with 30 plus credit hours and have access to park anywhere designated. According to university sources, there is a plan for fall 2009 to add more parking spaces. Reporting for Bronx TV News, I'm Maritza Peña. Last Thursday, Congressman Ruben Hinojosa held a press conference here at UTPA. Our very own Vanessa Chavez has more on the story. The ITT department at the University of Texas Pan American welcomed Congressman Ruben Enojosa, who held a press conference Thursday, October 9th, announcing the benefits of the Higher Education Opportunity Act. The law, which was passed on August 14th, increases accessibility to higher education for South Texas students by investing $200 million in South Texas college institutions. A new program to expand both master's and doctoral degree programs was also included in the benefits is going to open doors of opportunity to recruit young men and women into master's and doctoral programs. There will be fellowships, there will be scholarships, there will be all sorts of assistance to making it affordable and accessible. Community leaders joined in the conference and praised Congressman Inahosa on his efforts to pass the law. These community leaders will continue to rally around Congressman Enojosa to better his chances of completing his goals. For Bronx TV News, I'm Vanessa Chavez. Campus security is an important issue for the University of Texas Pan American, and the UTPA Police Department is taking different measures to improve safety. Carlos Mireles has more on this story. Safety is important to students and faculty alike. The people who are responsible for our safety here on campus is UTPA's Police Department. And according to UTPA's just released campus security report, crime on campus has immensely dropped down in the last few years. The campus security report goes into detail of what types of crimes there are here on campus and exactly how many times each individual crime has been committed since 2005. To get a copy of the campus security report, you can find a link on UTPA's homepage or you can go to the link that you see at the bottom of your screen. So don't forget to pick up a copy of your campus security report and remember, the most important thing is to stay safe. I'm Carlos Mireles, reporting for Bronx TV News. October is National Breast Cancer Awareness Month. This month has been designated to encourage women to get annual mammogram checkups, get informed on the facts, and find support. Contact your local doctor to find out more on how you can help beat the fight against breast cancer. Worried about your health but can't afford health care? Then listen up. The UTPA Wellness Center will be providing low-cost wellness screenings for the UTPA employees and family. Information will be provided over nutrition and weight loss, stress management, and smoking cessation, along with 24 tests including glucose, liver function, and CBC as part of the screening. Participate in a healthy lifestyle at this year's wellness screening held at the UTPA Fieldhouse on October 21st and at the physical plant on October 22nd from 7 to 9 a.m. Join us in living a healthy today to have a healthy tomorrow. Additional charges will vary depending on services administered. Credit and debit cards not accepted. UTPA's HEB Planetarium recently opened its doors and is inviting students and the community to check them out. Noxie Lopez has more details. 
UTPA students can now travel through space without having to leave campus. The university's HEB Planetarium opened its doors in March after purchasing a new digital projector. This high-tech device can travel 70,000 years into the future as well as the past. Regularly scheduled presentations are offered for students and the public free of charge. And on Tuesdays, telescopes are set up near the library for those who wish to gaze at the actual sky. For more information on the planetarium schedule, call 316-7088 or email them at planetarium at utpa.edu. For Bronx News, I'm Noxy Lopez. Bored and don't know what to do? Why not sit back and relax and enjoy She Loves Me, a student play held at UTPA's Jefferson Theater. With more on the story, we have Tony Enriquez. With the middle of the semester almost complete and midterms knocking at your door, stress plays a big factor of your everyday life. So why not take a break from all that hard work and enjoy some entertainment? Sitting and watching She Loves Me is the perfect remedy. She Loves Me is just one of the four plays that will be entertaining us this fall semester. We asked students and faculty what these events have to offer. There's nothing like live theater. It, it, it only happens that one time at that particular moment. I greatly encourage everyone to, to show up and, you know, show your support. The play will be showing all week long. Just show them your ID card and you and a friend can enjoy the wonderful world of theater. With Bronx TV, this is Tony Enriquez. The Pan American newspaper will be celebrating its 65th anniversary on October 25th here at the UTPA Ballroom. The reception will begin at 5 p.m. followed by a dinner. For more information or to RSVP, make sure you contact the student publications at 381-2541. Well, that concludes our newscast. It sure does, but make sure you visit us at www.utpa.edu slash Radio to stay informed on campus life. And don't forget to catch us on MySpace. I hope you enjoyed the show. I'm Jennifer Villarreal. And I'm Carlos Medellis. Go Bronx. Go Bronx.